Yo guys, this is Reinhardt and today we're gonna be kind of nerd raging about the actual scaling system in the game and it's all very very fucked up. Uh, it's so fucked up, it's not on the highest level but on the lowest levels it gets very very messed up and the Blizzard's excuse for that is one thing is, well don't worry anything is gonna be more balanced at the low higher level. But the problem with that, the problem I see with that is one one big problem is the leveling is actually absolutely painfully ridiculous along in World of Warcraft. So I kind of got frustrated because I killed a few couple um, battlegrounds and I was like pretty undergeared and um, tried to play like unholy like a professional player and stuff and um, I kind of failed at it because just... Uh, I wasn't pulling out enough damage and the reason why I'm saying I wasn't pulling enough damage is because I'll be running at like 18-20k HP and I would eat like a 17k, 14k pyroblast right into my face and it literally melt the crap out of me. So here's what I did. I decided to actually go as a blood decay. And the funny thing that I actually encountered is that I'm actually not a blood decay, I'm like a blood mage that actually can kill all the shit on the for a distance. And it actually is possible from one main uh, reason or ability and it's called the Siphon. By the way, if you notice, the lettering here is a little bit different because I'm actually playing on the Russian server. And this is the first video I actually recorded from the Russian servers itself. But anyway, so regardless of that, enough of that talking, let's actually take a look at what the Siphon does. And the Siphon actually is very, very mongoloid. It hits for like 3 to 4k damage and heals it for that amount. And it's a range. If you guys can see, I'm actually completely just do nothing but fighting people at the range most of the time. And this siphon sometimes actually created for me for about like 8k damage and it would heal me for about 8k healing as well. But can you imagine that ability at the lower levels when it actually gonna get buffed by 50% healing? It will be absolutely disgusting. So there you go, this is where I'm actually not already playing like a pro and shit. I decided to go just go full mango and basically have the following rotation. Uh, kind of intermeets between my death coils, uh, my blood boil and my death siphon. If you guys can see I don't even give a shit about my weapon damage because uh, the way that scaling is fucked up on World of Warcraft while you're leveling is some of the abilities just do way way too much damage. The funniest thing about all this situation is that that not only at top damage, I also did 200k healing, which is not bad at all. As a blood decay, it was probably like my first battleground or second battleground as blood. And I did not have a pocket healer. Like a lot of people, what they do is they try to show up like some awesome, awesome stuff, but they're running with a pocket healer. I'm not. I'm just straight up going mongoloid blood decay, just full, full, like damage and shit. And it's been a very, very surprising, uh, not only surprising from having two people not being able to kill me due to my heals, but being able to global somebody down. And by globaling, I mean like almost, almost globaling. Uh, the reason why I'm even saying that, because like hearing that decay can global somebody is a little bit ludicrous. Uh, the reason why I'm saying it is for one main reason is, you know there's a, a dancing runic weapon, it's a blood abilities, uh, basically he summons the little sword that copies his uh, uh, skills that he used and at some point in time RNG guard could be actually on your side and you will do 8k uh, 8k the siphon from yourself and guess what another 8k the siphon from your sword and that will be a 16k damage and that will be either 50% or 100% of somebody else's HP and as you guys can see the, the thing like the main rotation for me it's actually pretty funny uh, all I'm doing is I'm just staying at the range and the siphoning so uh, my thing, my thing is here, I want to say one thing, is that if you guys consider taking a death siphon while you're leveling, you certainly can, and for those decades who are trying to level on uh, before 5.2 comes out, uh, try it out and have fun with a death siphon, because it is absolutely and utterly a disgusting of an ability, and it's a very mongoloid, like a ice lens, like a pyroblast like ambush I'm I'm talking about not the higher levels I'm talking about the lower levels because those are extremely easy to use and they do tons of damage and the reason why they do tons of damage is because that's how the scaling works I have no honestly I have no idea how Blizzard can actually mess up so badly on the scaling but the lower level PvP in the battlegrounds is mostly a joke because it composed of whoever can exploit the Look at this, I just killed the shaman with my dancing runic weapon in within a 4 seconds. Just just unloaded my um, the siphons and dancing runic weapons, the siphons on him. And 
Um, it's absolutely goddamn disgusting. And um, the thing is, the thing is, I was running with a here with a blood tap, and the blood tap is not actually that great. It was because I wasn't doing a lot of the spoils. All my main damage dealing was basically a blood boils, and um, the siphons. And I think here I'm actually can actually might run into the really good PP, or I'm gonna die. No, I'm gonna just kite back. Thank God that the, when you actually play on the battlegrounds, that these people have absolutely no clue how to snare. Uh, like the first shot should be snare. When you see somebody mounted up, the first thing you, if you want to kill him, is snare him, and then uh, pick him off instead of just trying to do a damage stealing. So that's why that uh, guy kind of felt on snaring me because he tried to actually arcane shot me in the beginning, which was a big mistake. Now this is another blood decay, and the thing I like him most is that he doesn't know what the hell is dust siphon is, and I know what the dust siphon is. So. Not only I'm keeping myself up, I'm actually killing this decay with the dust siphons. Uh, I think I actually made a lot of people very, very angry and frustrated with me because the dust siphon didn't kill me as much as they would rely to. Um, the thing about blood decays is that they're not healing all that great at the lower levels because everything is a percentage of the health, and uh, who cares about 10% healing when you are like taking like auto attack does 10%, uh, but for this one. That siphon does a shit tons of damage. Shit tons of damage. Anyway, so here I'm gonna be fighting a Demolak, a, a Monk DPS, and a freaking Mage. And I'm gonna croak here, of course. Uh, by the way, Monks, when we were leveling Monks, um, I'm not sure if it's a DPS Monks. I'm not sure how they are, but a Tank Monk surprisingly do really, really well. And they have a tons of healing. Like, when I'm talking about the broken mechanics to the core, this is what actually happens here. Uh, so many broken mechanics, it's unbelievable. Um, I haven't leveled the tune in so long, like I just leveled three uh, characters in the beginning, like as soon as a map came out, and I completely forgot about like what is it like to actually level a tune. And I just actually started remembering. What we get is um, like 20k red palace healing, uh, monks healing through like 2 DPS, uh, mages like 14k pyroblasting, and me that's siphoning like a monk over here with a blood ball. By the way, if there's a two blood decays with a two blood ball spamming, they can probably wipe the entire team within the seconds because blood ball also overtuned the ability at their lower levels. So I don't know what to say. Like I really wish would Blizzard actually look into it because uh, it's not that it's like matters a lot to me personally, but when the Blizzard did a survey, they actually found out that like it was a I think a couple one expansion ago like in Cataclysm or. Um, was Rust of Liching. When I did a survey, they actually found out that a lot of characters, a lot of players, a lot of accounts didn't even reach the max level. They were just playing casually for fun. So this is idea that it's actually not very, very fun, casually fun at all. At the very least, when you actually have overtuned abilities. And like I said, the only thing that the battlegrounds feel right now uh, with the players trying to exploit as much as possible out of the game and use those abilities that are scale like that is ridiculously high effective at the lower levels, but of course getting nerfed at the higher levels. For people who have been watching my videos for a long time, my streams, uh, they always know that I always always said that Dust Siphon is a beautiful mechanic, I think I found it's really fun, it definitely has like this vampiric feel to a DK, but the problem with the Dust Siphon is just its poor poor numbers. Just the sheer numbers of a Dust Siphon are uh, completely horrible and terrible and they're not warranted of casting actual like uh, death rune I think that like if they would make a death siphon use like unholy rune or something then I would say it's what could be warranted if it actually would heal us for like 20 25k well like 20k maybe uh, maybe like 25 but right now like death siphon doesn't heal a lot it heals for like 12 13k uh, it's gonna be healing for like 18k in 5.2 and it casts a death rune for people who are not playing dk a death rune basically is gonna be like we're gonna be sacrificing about like 30k worth of necrotics for a 15k heal and that also cast uh takes up a slot so there's no point of using death siphon it's garbage at the higher level but guess what the shit is overpowered to the guts when it comes to actually top top yeah uh, when it comes to leveling your tune like I didn't even expect that, I just like mouse over it and saw a 7.2k damage and I was like, okay, that is the highest damage dealing ability I have. 
uh, and it is. It hits harder than Death Strike. It hits harder than anything else for blood. Uh, for Unholy, it actually gets up to 9k damage uh, with a mastery. My DK is already like level 80, so I haven't PP on him too. Like, I kind of not really want to PP because I don't find this kind of a PP fun at the very least. Because <sighs> mainly the reason why is because it's just not my cup of tea. Uh, you try to find that niche overpowered thing about your class and try to play it. Or if and if you don't, then you're screwed basically. Uh, for example, I cannot see how maybe uh, shamans like shaman um, enhancement shamans could be good at this low level unless they have a shit tons of twin gear. I could not possibly like see unholy DK or frost DK be any good because. Oh, by the way, this is going to be beautiful. Uh, this is going to be beautiful. There's a Twink guy. So I'm running at like 35k HP. So I have a shit on the HP. I have a few Twink gears. And this guy is also have a Twink gear. I don't have any enchants though. So I'm, I popped the Dancing Runic Weapon. Did a 4 Death Siphons on them. Got him down to 5k HP. And then with a couple Blood Boils, finished him off. I finished the other Warrior Twink. And it's time now for this basically backpedaling Rogue. Now, it's a Russian server. And people back paddle here, and on American server people also back paddle. So it doesn't really matter on which server you're located, but it's just it's just funny. Like, and there, there's a shadow priest here, and the shadow priest this battle is gonna take up very very long. Uh, by the way, just so you know, the shadow priests are one of the strongest classes when you level, uh, because their mind blasts do way too much damage. The devouring plague does shit tons of damage, and the most importantly is they have a shit tons of healing. Like. Way more healing than actual my DKs. Like I'm bitching about my DKs, the siphon being way too strong, but trust me, it also applies to the lot a lot of different classes at the same time. Like it's not only applies to my DK. So anyway, uh, let me do some little bit of commenting here. So I'm chasing this guy like a mongoloid basically, and this is a shadow priest. And at some point in time, already seeing my uh, dancing weapon coming off the cooldown, and he just vanished now, just now, and I'm basically trying to get my full four death runes, so then I can actually go full burst on this shadow priest at the same time. So gonna get my heal a little bit up here, and right here I'm getting to a zero HP, almost almost zero HP, and I'm popping all my bursts on this guy with a dancing runic weapon, and because it copies all my abilities, all my death strikes, and everything. I basically kill that Shadow Priest within just a couple seconds. It's funny how actual Blood Decays can have a major, major burst. So at this time, I'm getting on this Warlock, and the funny thing is, all my Day Siphon healing is actually um, Day Siphon healing and uh, Death Strike healing actually outheals this Lux damage, his pets damage, this Hunter's pets da <laughs> damage, and there's a rest of Shaman that's healing them. But I'm gonna just spam a couple Blood Balls. Um, I got, what is it called, like a um, Necropolis Will, Will of ne Necropolis or something, proc that gives you basically a free blood tap, and at the very end I got to burst it out and died. So basically here's my tip for all the leveling DKs, um, as a blood DK you can solo dungeons with the Death Siphon, no problem at all, Death Siphon is absolutely ridiculously over ability at the lower levels, it basically it does like 20% of somebody else's HP. As damage and it heals you for 20% of your HP and uh, that shit is ridiculous it's strong think about it this way if you convert every death siphon what it is right now when you're leveling to a highest level imagine a death siphon do like 80k damage 75 to 80k damage uh, and healing you for the exact same amount so that's how it gets way 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 too strong so um, it gets it gets down to maybe like 10% if you fight against the twinks and they have a shit tons of HP, but still, uh, I'm, I wasn't fully geared, enchanted, gemmed, anything. Just uh, had a few couple uh, green pieces, uh, 78, that are overtuned. So I think with the, like everything, everything twinked, geared and everything, I'm pretty sure my death siphon get up to like a 10k ticks. Um, I mean, well, thank you on the tooltip, but probably like 6k nukes. Uh, 4 to 5 to maybe 60k nukes, uh, 6k nukes, and... That is a lot of damage. That is a definite lot of damage for ability that also life steals and heals you for exactly the same amount. Now the thing is, the thing is, I kind of give up on actually asking Blizzard to 
balance the leveling PvP. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and just say that leveling P in, in WoW PvP is an absolute joke. And I hope, I hope they're gonna fix it because leveling PvP in WoW is the worst out of, I would say, Rift, Star Wars, and the other MMOs. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.